Oh yeah. Hey dudes, my name's Blaco, and I've been rolling ahead As my stomach is rolling. on expanding the world in my VR game. So let's get into it. So I've been kind of stuck in this one pod room for quite a while now while I develop new mechanics for the game, but it was getting a little stuffy, so I wanted to start building out more of the world. Essentially the game will be broken up into small zones that I'll work on one at a time. So for now, I wanted to go ahead and finish up the first little zone. Of course all this stuff can change in the final game, but it's nice to get at least a demo going. So to build out more of the world, I need more pots, since part of the game, at least in the beginning, is to go off and figure out what happened story-wise, and why things went wrong. It makes sense that there'd be other pods in the surrounding area that'd be used for like storage units and whatnot. So let's go ahead and make those. I want them to be fairly modular looking, but also sort of guide the player a little, so I'm gonna base them on simple shapes. Alright, first I got this little guy. So let's call this one the eye shape, since it's just a tiny little storage unit and it's in the shape of an eye. Got it? Okay, so let's go bigger. The next one is a T shape. Since the doors make the letter T, it will be useful for branching the player in different directions. The next one is L, which will let me point the player in a single direction. Finally, just to switch it up a little bit, is a more smaller L. Alright, so I got some initial shapes for the first zone, so I went ahead and placed those in the game world. It'll probably change a bit, but I like how it feels so far. So I also set up the dirt generation zones so that the world is underground. Now, if I only use the dirt generation zones, then the player could just dig through the bottom or sides of the zones and fall out of the world, which I know some games don't have a problem with letting you do that, but that's not really what I'm going for if you know what I'm saying. So I need some barriers to block out areas for the world. The game isn't an open world game, but I also don't want it to be completely linear feeling either, so the zones will have mostly an open floor concept design, but probably from zone to zone will be linear. Alright, so I ended up just going with giant rocky boys for barriers, since you're underground, it kinda makes sense. I mean sure, geologists would probably cringe a bit, but that's fine with me since it's my world and I can do what I want. Sweet, so the first zone is coming together, it's pretty close to a small demo, I mean sure, it doesn't have enemies and whatnot, but it's cool to see the world expanding. Now, it doesn't really make sense for all the pod doors to just be completely open since all the dirt would just fall through the doorway. So for that, I made a lever. Alright, it might not look like a lever, it looks like a door. But if you saw my other devlog when I made the trash be gone, I made a lever that you can pull to turn on the machine. For doors, I wanted you to lift the door up, and once it's completely up, it locks in place. This is the exact same way the levers work. Basically, the door has an animation, with one frame where it's closed and one where it's open, and as your hand contacts with the bottom of the door, it blends more of the open animation, whereas when you aren't touching the door, it blends more of the closed animation. And if you pull it up all the way, it locks the animation to the open frame, and that's it. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how things are turning out so far. I think it looks pretty cool, and it actually feels pretty good to play the game now that there's an actual world instead of just the starting zone. Anyway dudes, that's all I got. See ya!